What's the quickie? There's an old concept in economics that's generally referred to as the fable of the bees. It comes from a 1705 poem by Bernard Mandeville. He meant it as a challenge of religious ethics, but it quickly became more about economics and the idea of spontaneous order. Religious ethics said that man should give up his individual needs and work for one's fellow men and the glory of God. Mandeville was showing how it was precisely through people pursuing their own self-interest that society advances and everyone's life improves. As long as the bees just did their own thing as they saw fit, the hive improved. Then they got this idea of guilt and started living moral lives where they sacrificed for each other and the hive failed. Yeah, he was talking about spontaneous order decades before Adam Smith, predicted the failure of socialism decades before Marx, and was talking about the virtue of selfishness centuries before Ayn Rand. All this time, he's been criticized by religious thinkers, but he's been even more heavily criticized by economists who just have to believe that a functioning economy has to be managed from the top down. They also tried using it as an example of market failure. They maintained that in order for beekeeping to be a successful business, they needed to find farmers whose crops would benefit from pollination. Conversely, those farmers needed to find beekeepers to supply the bees their crops needed. You'd think this would be an obvious case of mutual benefit, but to these early economists, and even many going on into the 20th century, this was supposed to be an example of market failure. But of course, as soon as someone actually started researching it, it was easily shown that it really did happen. Farmers and beekeepers make contracts and arrangements with each other without any government having to step in. Every time someone says that society or the economy must be managed from the top down, they end up being wrong. So how long is this dangerous myth going to prevail?